This is Dr. Tamar Sechkin in Bari, Italy, 17th annual ISG meeting. I have the pleasure of introducing you to all ISG viewers around the world, our young uh, laparoscopists, young new members, and the old friends who are watching this uh, video clip. I have uh, Lona Hamushoy from uh, England, who is the head of World Endometriosis Foundation, or Congress, how do you say that? The World Endometriosis Society. The World Endometriosis Society. It says it all, it's the World Endometriosis. That's most important. Uh, they had a very successful meeting at uh, Melbourne, Australia. Uh, I want her to wrap up the meeting, and then I want her to get into her challenges for the future of recognition. Endometriosis is a number one pelvic disease that involves women's health in the world. Lona. Thank you, Dr. Sechkin. It's absolutely right. In March, we had almost a thousand delegates attending the 10th World Congress on Endometriosis, which was also the 10th anniversary of the World Endometriosis Society. I think the fact that we managed to get a thousand people to come to Australia demonstrates that we're beginning to see an increased focus on this disease. Don't you agree? That's all. Yes. And I think what was telling from that meeting as well was that there was a lot of young people there. And we saw some very exciting science being presented and some very interesting debates about the surgical management of the disease, which interestingly, and this is very interestingly for the laparoscopists out there, isn't necessarily always the first route of treatment in all women with suspected endometriosis. There was also very stimulating debate about how we handle the adolescent. And I wish I could tell you that there was a magnificent conclusion, but there isn't. I think it's still a challenge on how we deal with those young women who present with symptoms suggestive of endometriosis. Excitingly, the international uh, gene study announced an almost $2 million grant provided for the next year to look further into the genetics of endometriosis. A great chunk of that funding came from the Wellcome Trust in the United Kingdom, which is actually a recognition of endometriosis as a serious disease. So I think we came out with some very, very interesting things in Melbourne, but we have a lot of challenges ahead of us still because as Professor Dorgan mentioned in his keynote lecture, the actual cost of the disease, the impact of endometriosis on society is not that well documented. And he had the audacity to say, what I'm now going to repeat, that maybe the lack of funding that we're seeing in endometriosis is because it is a female disease and that a lot of decision makers are male. I know this is provocative, but I wonder whether there's some truth to it. What do you think? Well, it is difficult to deny that fact. Uh, in fact, uh, <coughs> the um, endometriosis uh, being a taboo traditionally uh, is not well recognized. And when it comes to money, uh, very few wants to uh, give the money for disease. I think we do have also responsibility. We have also kept this disease in, always in, in the black hole and enigmatic format without, uh, uh, it's, it's been rather late to really talk about the most obvious things like uh, the delay in diagnosis, the importance of, uh, uh, of early diagnosis and how many young and adolescents are misdiagnosed, mistreated and misrouted and uh, from emergency room from one uh, gastroenterological uh, as to enterologist to another family physician by the time they come back to a gynecologist. And unfortunately, most gynecologists are not even trained to do the disease. So we all have responsibility. I think I see challenges ahead. For that reason, we have initiated uh, Endometriosis Foundation of America to, to also dis, uh, uh, to disseminate the news and um, inform people and make early ex uh, excision and treatment and di dietary, diet approaches, the medical approaches, be, have a value and see what they play in, the, in these women. Um, I want to hear what your challenges would be for all of us. I think we, we look at your work as a very important work. You're leading this uh, area with your expertise. What do you see as challenges ahead uh, for uh, educating the public and getting more funds? 
I think in terms of educating the public, we need to get to legislators now. We need to start working with the decision makers in our society and make them understand that this is a disease with socio-economic impacts. In addition to what you're doing, what you're saying with your foundation, you're going to be raising awareness of excision surgery and the importance of early diagnosis and complete surgery. The other side of that coin is research. And that is something that's very close to my heart because sitting through a lot of meetings, what we see is at the end of a study is this study wasn't well powered enough to give us powerful enough conclusions, so we need more research. To that end, this has been addressed by the World Endometriosis Society together with the ASRM and ESHRA. We have founded the World Endometriosis Research Foundation and it's got two missions. One is to facilitate multi-center, international, well-powered clinical trials with sufficient numbers so that the results have statistical significance. And to get a nice, big, fat pot of money together to be able to fund basic research so that basic researchers can apply for funding to research disease mechanisms so that we can get closer to finding the cause for this disease and ultimately prevention so that is what we have ahead of us. And one of the ways we're going to address the latter part, the basic research, is that in a couple of months time, we will be announcing formally the establishment of international research networks so that we have all these basic researchers working together and not in isolation, which we've seen happen so often before. Great challenges, but I'm hopeful too that with this global collaboration, we're gonna get somewhere. Well, on behalf of ISG website, I'd like to thank uh, the ISG board and executive board uh, for all the help to support supporting us. Again, uh, my thanks goes to Lona. It seems like we have great challenges ahead. I wish you good luck and we will be working together, Lona. It's a pleasure indeed. to have you. Thank, thank you. you.